Okay, guys, welcome to episode nine. Yes, nine episodes of Love Time. And looking at my calendar, we're almost there to 12. Can you believe that? We're almost on episode 12. Now, here's the thing. This show was so great. In fact, I'm sure a lot of you guys want to know why this episode didn't come out yesterday. Well, it did, but if anybody who knows a link to watch Love Time and Faster, send me a link on the comments and I'll see which was better because Kiss Anime didn't even had it. Like, Kiss Anime didn't even had, like, oh, um... You know, the show popped up. Normally, the show, normally, Love Tyrant airs like freaking uh, 3 p.m. or 4 p.m. at best, but it didn't. So I'm like, where, where is that? Somehow it came up last night, like around 11 o'clock while I was playing Injustice 2, and then it just like, oh, there it is. So this is like, oh, I can't do it tonight. I might as well do it today. So my bad. But anyway. Like I said, if y'all see, if you guys know another anime link to watch shows faster, send me a link on the bottom besides Kiss Anime. But now, Love Tyrant episode nine. Let me just get back to this. Sorry. Now, last week we had an awesome fight between two milfs, confessions of love, and a bunch of funny references in this episode. But this time, episode in this episode, they kind of like. Let's tone it down a bit. Let's tone it down. So, this episode was not about Akine or Giri's minor thing, but this was also about Yuzu. This whole episode was about Yuzu's feelings towards Shinjuku. That was the whole thing. Is it really her love? Is it really her moment to confess in front of everybody? This was this this was straight up. The point of it. That's what the whole thing was. Now, we kick things off with the aftermath. You know, this after, after the whole, like, Akine's confessions towards, like, Sinji and disobeying her mother were. So that was it. Everything was good. And Akine and Guri are rivals. The dumbest rivals in this. I mean, come on. Now, and then all of a sudden... Shinkimi, Shinkimi came back, you know, the crazy stabbing the freaking masochist cops, that fucking, oh my god, hot lady though, but come on, she disguised as uh, the same old lady, the same old girl we know with the black hair, you know, disguising it and sitting in his desk, got a little turn on, I don't know what's her about, but she loves killing people, but Akine just found, uh, well, maybe best tell this in a way. She's gonna keep an eye on Shinjuku and Akane to see if their relationship is intact. Because if they're not, their mother is gonna straight up kill him. So you gotta keep the relationship under wraps. Yuzu, on the other hand, you know how Yuzu is, doesn't wanna go to school and just go straight into this and go straight to school, you know, to find the real reason, you know, be with his sis, be with her sister forever and ever. Like the eeriness we all know and love. Shikimi came into school to introduce herself, and while many of us don't, and, and while many of us understands and why we like this stuff, it gotta get this little vibe. So, in order to make sure to keep it safe, she has to be nice. This is what you don't do. If you have a crazy girl like, like I'm put this example, like you know from Future Diary, you got it. There's no way you can keep you know on her nice side. Like, really, you don't do that. Same goes to, um, yeah, same goes to Akine. You don't keep her nice. She doesn't do nice. She, you know, you don't, you can't transform her into a good woman. You don't do it, unless you were Shinjuku. So Shinji has an idea. Oh, how about you and Gri be nice? That is not gonna work. Get your facts straight, guys. That's not gonna work at all. So, she has to play the good girl, not the evil, psychotic bitch. And deep down, she wanted to punch Guri so bad. Like, you just can't do that to her. Poor Akide. Poor, poor Akide. Now, 
Sorry. Yuzu, on the other hand, you know, she's grown a lot, but I really can't stand her. There's something about her I just can't stand her. Like, like who cares? Who cares if you like Sujiku? Go for it. Don't, don't just kiss him and see if you love, see if you actually love him. Just do it. Like, just fucking do it. You don't believe me? Just go watch Actually I Am. You know, with the vampire, the alien, the wolf girl. Just try to confess your feelings on him and maybe, just maybe you might try something. I don't know. Now, they had this, now this whole event was the school play. Now we know how every, every anime, when there's a festival, a school festival, there's a dramatic funniness or action or blood, everything. That's what these anime festivals, school festivals have, a lot of drama. And that's what they did. So their class decides to do a play. Who's gonna be the rival, who's gonna be the prince, and who's gonna be the princess. So she, so everybody's like, oh, let's, oh, let's invite, let's ask Shikimi, Shikimi to be the, uh, um, to be the princess. Okay, good. Who's gonna be the prince? Akine. Okay. And Akine just like, viciously, it's like, okay, as long as she's my rival. So that means Guri. So it's like, Guri's my rival. Now, mind you, Guri is such a, she, ooh, she teases Guri, I mean, she teases Akine to the limit. She's like, ready to go to the chalkboard, and she's like, oh, Oh, don't worry. Oh yeah, I know you wanna kiss him, but I'm the front of, I'm the first one to kiss him. I'm like, oh you dumb bitch. <laughs> you dumb bitch. She don't wanna kill you. She tried to be nice. She get the kiss. She tried like eh, 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 don't do it. It's the pressure. Now now, the school play. Now hold on a second. This whole play was funny and it was ridiculous. I mean like you got Akine, who looks like a freaking royal knight from Kokias. You got Shikimi, who look like a princess from God, so I don't know what, like Pirates of the Caribbean and Elizabeth outfit. And you got a girl who's like a freaking pirate. This is typically Pirates of the Caribbean. And you got Shikimi as a tree. You got him as a tree. Symbolizes that he's as stiff as a boat or. Oh! That's why he's stiff and. Oh, that's why he's a tree. I feel bad. I feel bad. But anyway. Anyway. Uh, while they're doing the play, you know, she, they, Akane forgot her lines and Gary's showing off, going on, rubbing off Akane's dark side. And her eyes, Akane's eyes says it all. Like, oh wait, this is the play so I can kill this woman. And yeah, they begin it. <laughs> now, they're all fighting in the air like some Dragon Ball Z. Like, one from this, some Dragon Ball Z they do. Just fighting in the, in the air. What's funny about that, though, in the manga, they all they say is like, oh, is this special graphics? Wow, they got wisdom ropes that is doing special effects. That's what happened in the manga. But it is, they want to keep it short and say, oh, they all fighting in the air. We, we from, our, from our eyes. Like, just imagine you sit down in the festival, you watching them play, you're like, oh, crap, they're fighting in the air. Oh, shit. Yeah, that, that's basically what that was. And Yusuf-chan came out of the audience, come told, told Akine straight in the face that, you, that I kissed him. You don't, okay. Don't ever say that in front of Akine, because Akine will fucking kill you. But... She confessed, finally confessed to Akini like my love. She and overall she's saying like I love well not really love Shinji, but I kissed him, but I didn't feel any connection. Like I feel it, but I love you, Oni Sama. That's what she's that's that's the story in a nutshell, you know, of her confession and the long short term thing. She really opened up, confessed to Akine, and everything just like that. Now Akine loves her sister, like, not like that. She wasn't gonna slap them. She just grabbed her face like this and told her that it's okay to express your feelings and whatnot and this and that. It was nice. And Guri, on the other hand, wanted to freaking mess up the whole sister love thing, saying some dumb shit. Not now, but long story short, Akine told Guri that it's okay to be loved. Just. If you have a problem, just confess it. Dolly, not like that. 
and and Yuzu understands that and love and hugged Akini. Now, mind you, the play's still going on, so everybody like the audience is like, "What's going on?" What's going on? And but to make it end this, to end this play really good, Yuzu, I mean Akine and Guri kiss hard, like hard, like like damn, all this just stand up. Why you just kissing? That's it. But that's what <laughs> that was funny. So now, episode. So now this episode. Nine was pretty good. It was just about Yuzu's confessions. Like, does she really love Shinjuku? That was the whole thing. And the festival between the rivalry between Akine and Guri to make sure they all nice. So, that was it. I mean, it wasn't that funny. I mean, it was funny, but it wasn't too funny and too crazy like last week's. But that was, but that's it. But, this first episode of June, I mean, episode nine in the first week of June was really great. And I love it. This is one of those shows you got to keep watching the regular time and time to, to express love in a way, since summer's coming. But that's it. Yeah. So next week, episode ten, guys, ten. Next week, episode ten, and I'm gonna tell you a little key note to what you're gonna see: fan service, harem action, and Sunji's sister, who we're gonna see some development in her in that next week's episode. So stay tuned for next week.